Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to another video. So this is the last video of the SNES Game of Day series, we're into a new month. I'm going to be looking at, I'm not sure yet, so if you've got any suggestions what to look at in August, Game of Day, uh, let me know in the comments, there's anything between ranging from Atari to uh, uh, Nintendo 64 and beyond. Uh, I don't really do Game Game of Days like after the GameCube area or the the, uh, the PS2 area. But anyway, so we'll have to think about that. But yeah, this is the last game and the uh, SNES Game of Day for, for this month. And this is Top Gear, the original. So let's have a look at this. This is not to be confused with Top Gear, the BBC television program. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at this one. So this is by Kemco. They also did Top Gear Rally on the Nintendo 64 and Boss Rally as it was sometimes known. Uh, interestingly, that came out on a PC as well, which I only recently found out. But yeah, anyway, so this is Top Gear on the uh, Super Nintendo here. Right, okay, so let's start the game. There's some nice music. So this is sort of like in the style of Lotus Turbo Challenge 1. And uh, yeah, I'm the top driver. And yeah, that wasn't a very good start because I couldn't figure out the acceleration bu button. Right, okay, so... Just like on Lotus 1 on the Amiga or Commodore 64, whatever you play it on, uh, there's no full screen mode if you are in one player mode. So you've got, on this version, on this game, you've got the computer controlled uh, person on the bottom. Unless you have two players, of course, then your second player uh, controls the second screen at the bottom. So yeah, aesthetically pleasing looks. It looks apart. It's got good graphics. There might be washed out areas, but that's just the uh, downside of my capture hardware. But yeah, yeah, it looks alright, it looks apart, plays rather well. There's a tiny bit of slowdown here and then. Uh, bear, in, bear in mind, I am playing this on the uh, the actual SNES, I'm not playing this under emulation. So what you see here is the same slowdown you're going to experience on the real SNES. But it's not that noticeable to be honest, the slowdown is only minimal. It's not too bad. Graphics, it looks apart for the day. Got nice holes, nice uh, uh, infinite draw distance, and uh, yeah, it's got a sort of Lotus look to it. Yeah, not too bad of a game. The music's not too bad either. So I'm the top driver as you've probably gathered. The bottom one's the computer controlled. Computers won me, I'll come ninth, the computer comes six. Neither of us come first. Right, okay, so does that that puts us in the standards of wherever I saw sorry I failed to could qualify, so that was a bit shit. It didn't help with my uh, really bad start. With the uh, not figuring out the uh, the acceleration button at the start, so let's try this again. Press start, which I am doing. Right, so skill level amateur, because I'm shit at games. Country, I'm going to change the country. Let's go for who is it USA that time? Let's go for the UK. Why not? Oh no, they're, they're all locked. Are they all locked? Yep. We're going to have to go for USA then. Password is sort of like an easier way of doing it rather than adding a battery backup save to the cartridge because of course the Super Nintendo didn't have memory card inputs or anything like that. So the same level, let's try and see if we can get a better start on a level this time. There's manual gears as well. Shoulder buttons for your gears. That works really well. Whoa, let's put the gear down a bit because we just had an impact. Doing a lot better this time because I had a better start. Computer's doing a lot better than me now. I'm catching up though. There's the computer's car in sight there. I can see it. Oh, oh shit, I'm right behind him. Quite cool, isn't it, the way it displays the computer's car like that. Whoa, oh, it's a dangerous race, isn't it? In real life, of course, you couldn't have these impacts or you just 
tart of your car up. I'm fourth, doing a lot better than I was last time. Right, okay. Let's do this. It seems to transition between desert and uh, grassy areas on this stage. It is America, we're on American stage. Right, let's pass this guy. Can you drop your, the box to your advantage? Can you drop the gears to your advantage on this, I wonder? Oh, we're second there. I'm just, it's the computer that's first. Ooh, the computer bet me still. It's weird because you've got the computer and you've got all the other computer NPCs as well. So it's kind of strange really. Because computer's doing all of them. All of them, not just himself sort of thing. So, have we qualified this time? Yes we have, I'm on to a different level here. Right. Different music, different look to the level. Nice to see. Whoa, it's like a sort of forest isn't it? Hey, this is really good to be honest. It's, it's got excellent gameplay and the visuals are good on it. Plays really well. And on that note, that's the end of Super Nintendo Game of Day. Not forever, just just for this one. And I'm going to give Top Gear uh, 1. This is the original. There's a sequel to it, by the way. But this is the original. And I'm going to give this one a nice 9 out of 10. I think it's absolutely superb. I think it plays well. It's got good graphics, good sound. And it just works really well together. The controls are responsive, plays good. So uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a think about what you might like me to do in uh, August. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.